This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, miniatures, and paints, discount prices at miniaturemarket.com. Hey everybody, today, as you saw by the title, as much as I love Man of War, we're never going to get Man of War back. Not the way we wanted it. But, I can tell you this much. We got something really, really special. And that is Armada. From our friends over at Mantic. Now, they've been on fire uh, lately. Because uh, anything they touch, I really have enjoyed. You know, back in the beginning, there were some Q, QC problems, but that wasn't them. That didn't take away from the great gameplay of, you know, Dreadball and, and um, some of the other fantastic games that they did. Um, and I never got into Kings of War, mainly because it's hard to find. Uh, you have to get it overseas. But this is basically in the King of War universe. And this is a game called Armada. Um, and it scratches an itch that I've been waiting for for quite some time. Let's go down to the table. I'm going to only show you the components because I still have to try to put most of it together. Um, I'm going to talk about some of the things. I've read through the book twice now. And... Um, we're going to talk a little bit about this, show you what you get, and show you what you can expect from us on the channel here, what we plan on doing. So let's go down to the table, take a look at what's in the box, and then we'll come back and I'll give you my final. Now you guys got to forgive me, I've only got the one hand. So I'm going to do the best I can to show you a lot of this stuff and, and why this is such a special, special thing. Now, the only thing that got me with this is when I opened this up, Okay, you had everything separated very, very nicely in these bags. And you these ships are beautiful. I mean, the detail is just unbelievable. I don't have the sails on them and stuff like that. Um, but there were no instructions on how to assemble all this stuff. So if you're new to board gaming you're, or, or, or miniature war gaming, this is something that you, you're interested in, um, know that, that, that you're going to have to try to figure this out. But it, it's pretty easy because of way, the way they have this stuff. And of course, with all the flags, you can really figure out. And these cards that are for the ships are here. You can actually see where all the masts and everything are and where they go and how everything fits in there. There's not a lot of parts that go into this or, or into each ship. Um, so it's made easy. You're just gonna have to cut, clean up everything a little bit and then uh, assemble it and get it together some of the masks are going to come a little warped you can put them in hot water they will straighten out that's not a problem um, you're going to get a you're going to get a bunch of ships um, I believe there's four to each side to be honest with you and I'm going to turn over just to show you guys the back of the box because again I only got one arm okay so you're gonna get four on one side and four on the others and there's others that that you can buy separately that will um, that you can add to the collection you're gonna get a whole bunch of ship cards of course and then you're gonna get some of these uh, the Bastille fleet upgrades forgive me if I can't say that word uh, there's certain upgrades that you're gonna attribute to points that are gonna help your ships and you can assign to ships as well as crew crew is very important you're gonna have you know a novice crew a, um, regular crew and then veteran crew they're gonna help you on certain tests and rolls you're gonna get this map and it's a paper map but they do have a map that's out there that you can purchase that will be a neoprene map or if you have a C map like I have a bunch of them uh, they'll work out perfectly no matter what you what, what you do here um, these are going to be damage markers here and then a bunch of different tokens as well as you're going to get a little bit of terrain this is your turning gear and what you're going to be doing is moving your ship if you decide to turn it if it's here you want to turn it a certain degree to keep going there you go and then the same thing on the other side here to just turn it a certain degree you get a measuring ruler as well 
you are going to get this beautiful, and I do mean beautiful, rule book. You're going to get some stands for the ship. You're going to get a ton, a ton of ten-sided, ten-sided die, um, uh, and, and 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 dice that are going to, depending on the different types of ranges, um, uh, help you out here. Uh, as you can see, just absolutely top quality. Uh, more ship pieces for some of the smaller ships. And uh, we're going to take a look at this rule book very quickly. And this is where this game just really, really shines, is how beautiful this book is. And, you know, you can do all this, okay? Uh, these are not very hard paint jobs. They're going to be a lot of fun to, to do and, and to put some of these things together. I mean, really, and, and they, these are the, the, the pictures that you really want to use to get a feel on how to put these together as well um, as, as we talked about you know all the different things that you're gonna get uh, it's good to get a, a measure a tape measure for some of those long range stuff too um, the cards breaks all the cards down um, again beautifully illustrated with tons of different pictures and things like that and how and you can use this with King of the War um, you you're gonna have boarding actions and and it explains the shooting phase and uh, you know even though I'm not explaining everything in this book as much as I can I do want to show you that they do have all kinds of different pictures that are going to, again help you put this together and this feels like the old man of war a bit even though it's not man of war and uh, all the different ships that you're going to be able to get here's the fleet in its entirely um, the thing I'm trying to get to um, some of the things that are going to be coming up soon, like the Empire of Dust, which is just, again, gorgeous. I mean, look at that stuff. And then, of course, the dwarves. Okay? And those look like the old man of warships. And uh, it just got me excited. And I said, yeah, I'm all in on this. Count me in. Uh, and, of course, the orcs and everything else. Um, it comes with the reference sheets that are going to show you everything, how the turn sequence goes. Uh, you're going to roll for win, initiative, activations. You're going to do your movement, your shooting, any boarding actions, then your end phase. And everything is here that you need. Critical hits, how those all go about, how you hit things. Um, anything on a 6 plus on, on, a, a, D, on a D6 um, is a hit. Uh, but you're going to have modifiers and stuff like that. You have to get over natural tens are criticals, and then you're going to have uh, a critical table where you can actually sink a ship if you can roll a 12, which is pretty, pretty amazing. Uh, you're going to have a ton of modifiers, like I said, and you're going to be working to get over six. So you really want to have that. And this is just a simple, great system that I really, if you played Black Seas, you're going to know what I'm talking about. It's really ingenious, but now in the fantasy world, and again, when I talk about detail of resin ships, um, beautiful. Absolutely uh, drop-dead gorgeous. So let's go up top and get my final thoughts on Armada and what we got planned for this fantastic game. I, when, when, when I looked at this... Um, I was, I was a little hesitant at first, but then I saw the ships and I go, oh my God, this looks like, looks like, you know, Man of War. And, and, you know, it just had that feel of it, you know, the old ships, the, the quirkiness of the orcs, uh, the, the regal and beauty of, uh, the empire. Um, they're called, um, Bret Bre Bretons or something like that. Uh, forgive me if if I'm butchering it, which which is nothing new around here. Um, but but when I when, when I I started reading, and then this the elaborate background that they had, and and depth and 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 beauty and everything that they have, and and uh, you know the templates, the way you move things and everything like that. Um, combat boarding actions you know this is everything that we could want in a fantasy 
war game, a naval war game. This is everything that you could possibly want. Now, the only things that I kind of, and, and I mentioned it earlier, is there's no assembly instruction. So if you're new to this, you got to try to figure this out. Um, and, but there's plenty of pictures. There's plenty of things. And, of course, the masts, they bend, but you can put them in hot water and straighten them out. I went to the website trying, you know, trying to find uh, anything I could to, to see how to assemble this stuff and make sure I'm putting the right masts in the right ships and things like that. But um, you, you, it is easy to figure out. And um, I know exactly where I'm going with this. So, um, um, you know, you just use your pictures and you use uh, your, your manual. And, uh, you know, for all I can say is I will do a video on how to assemble these ships. Or uh, I'm sure there's some out there um, th that you can check. Um, but this I'm very excited about. The models are beautiful, okay? Uh, they need to be cleaned up. I can't wait to get them together. But, you know, just looking, you know, just looking at these hulls and how detailed they are and all the things that I want to do with this fantastic, fantastic set. This just brings back so much memories and, and it, 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 it you know, when you read the rules and how, how everything's, you know, ran off those different colored D10s and things like that really, really, really just stands out. And uh, I'm really excited to bring this to the table here. I can't wait to do it. And I, I'm, I'm another thumbs up to Mantic. Okay, they are doing a phenomenal job. Hellboy was was, was beautiful beyond belief. Uh, Star Saga, I absolutely loved. Uh, there isn't a game they, they haven't made that I haven't thoroughly enjoyed. My problem always has been just the quality control thing. It, it's never been about the company or the gameplay it does get frustrating when you get a game and you did you were missing parts you know and and you know and of course you got to do a couple fixes here but for what you get in this box it's very cost effective this is war gaming that is cost effective now i've got two more big ships coming in that i actually ordered after i read this book and i went yeah i'm all in on this i'm all in on this and i can't wait for the dwarves and uh, the Dust Empire, which uh, <laughs> just looks, uh, again, unbelievable. This is everything that we wanted in Man of War and, and hoped for that we would get Man of War. This just makes me forget about Man of War because it's that beautiful. The gameplay, which is based on black sails. Now, if you have black sails, you're going to understand the system very, very well. And it's a very good system, okay? And again, the quality and the intelligence by Mantic to bring this game to us. I think this is just, a, it's going to be a phenomenal experience and I'm looking forward to bringing it here on Rob's Tabletop World. Until next time, it's your old pal Rob. We'll see you soon.